the Rambam in Hilchos Ta'anit, in Perakei Halacha Aleph, points out, Yesham yamim shekol Yisrael mit anim bahem, there are days which call Yisrael fast, memnei tsarot shi'eru bahem, because of catastrophes that occurred on those days, k'dei la'orer halavavot, in order that we open our hearts, that we awaken our hearts, v'liftoach darkei tshuva, and that we think of how we can change our lives. This Rambam was taken by the Me'iri to a frightening conclusion. Chazal tell us in Masechet Ta'anit, kol ha-mit'abel al Yerushalayim zoche v'ro'e b'simchata, that someone who mourns over Yerushalayim has the potential of seeing the joy of the return to Yerushalayim and the Mikdash. V'kol she'eno mit'abel al Yerushalayim eno zoche v'ro'e b'simchata, as opposed to someone who doesn't mourn for Yerushalayim. We tend to think, what does it mean, eno mit'abel? What does it mean that he doesn't mourn? It's a person who doesn't fast on the days of uh, Chorban, who doesn't break a glass or put ashes on his head at a wedding, someone who doesn't leave part of his entrance hall unplastered. He doesn't behave as, he, as, as he's in mourning. He doesn't act out the hilchot avelut, the laws of mourning that we have over the Chorban. But the Me'iri, based on the Rambam, understands it in a much more different manner. He points out, kol hanoheg biyomze, if someone behaves on a fast day, derech mitzvah merumada, that he's going through the motions out of habit, enom orera talev, and he doesn't awaken his heart, litabela Yerushalayim, enoro ebesimchata, that when the Gemara speaks about someone who is not mourning over Yerushalayim, it's someone who doesn't internalize the message of the fast day. It could be a person who fasts, he takes off his shoes, he sits on a low stool, but if there's no introspection, if there's no opening of the heart, if there's no serious thinking, that which we were missing, and what we can do to get it back, that's called a no mit abel al Yerushalayim. That's, that's called uh, a, lack, a lack of mourning. Uh, just one short example, we say every day, three times a day in Shemona Esrei, that we daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu she yibane beit ha-mikdash b'mheira v'yameinu that the mikdash should be rebuilt v'sein chelkeinu b'toratecha and that he give us our part in the Torah. What does apples have to do with oranges? What does the beit ha-mikdash have to do with learning? We learn all the time. The Gura points out, no. We think we learn all the time. We go through the motions of learning, but without the mikdash, we have no idea what our learning should be. We have no sense of our part in the Torah. And without Torah, there's no world. All of this should be part of the introspection that we feel during this period of Qurban. What we're missing and what we can do to change our behavior in order, in Yitzhak Hashem, to get it back, in Mehira as quickly as we can.